Let's talk about extraction for vectors and matrices in R. Suppose I've got some vector V that just has some numeric content. Down here we can see that V is numeric and then we've got five elements in V. If I want to extract specific elements in V, I'm going to use the square bracket notation. So let's say I want the first element. I could type in V square bracket and then tell R what elements you want. And these inputs have to be integers, right? Because there's just a first, second, third, and so on position. So if I want this first element, I could type in V extract one and I get 5.5 .5 out. You can also put in vector arguments. So if I wanted the first through the fourth elements, I could type in V one through four, and I get the first through the fourth elements out of V. For matrices, it's fairly similar. I'm gonna create a matrix. That just has the numbers one through 12, four rows and three columns. If I want to extract some specific elements from this matrix, I'm again going to use the square bracket notation. But notice here that we've got a square bracket, one through four, well we had four rows, then a comma, one through three, we had three columns. So this first argument is going to indicate what row or rows you want. The second argument is what column or columns you want. Let's try to get the second row, second column element out of mat. Type in these square brackets, second row, that's the first argument. And then what column do I want? I want the second column. And that gives me six. If we want to extract an entire row or an entire column, you can leave one of these arguments out. So let's just take the third column. I'm not going to type in any specific row because I want it to give me all the rows. And then I can tell it what column I want. Third column, all rows, we get nine through 12. Now we can use these extract functions along with relational operators. For instance, if I wanted to get all the elements out of V that were greater than one, I could type in V and then subset it or extract something from it. And what I want to extract is all of the elements in V that are greater than one. And that gives me 5.5 .5 and 2.3. So think for a second about what this is actually doing in R. If I type in V greater than one, what that really gives me is a logical result. So it's true if that's true and it's false otherwise. So you can type in a bunch of trues or falses here for each element or just give it a logical result that has the same length as this vector. And you can extract things fairly easily based on some criteria, like whether it's greater than or less than or equal to some number.